Hi friends, my name is Santosh. So here we are discussing SAP course demo of Bizia Commerce Hub. So first I will introduce about Institute. So the Institute name is Bizia Commerce Hub. It is a unit of BGR Accounting India Private Limited. It is a subsidiary of BGR Accounting India Private Limited. In this institute, we are going to provide two types of courses. One is Commerce course, second one is SAP course. So the institute is established in 2012. Now we are going to discuss about SAP course. This demo is for SAP course. So in SAP, you know already there are some modules. In SAP, there are so many modules. I presented only some modules. FICO is one module. FICO means finance and controlling. MM module, materials management. SD module, sales and distribution. PP module, production planning. Quality management, plant maintenance, project systems. These are the some examples of models. In SAP, there are almost 40 to 50 models are there. Like CRM, customer relationship management. Like there are some other models also had given some examples of models. Out of all these models, in our institute, we are going to learn about FICO module, FICO module, finance and controlling. So I will discuss about what is FICO, what syllabus we are going to cover in our institute. So when come to FICO, FICO means two separate components. FI is a separate component, CO is a separate component. What syllabus we are going to cover in FI? In FI, we are going to cover GL accounting module, AR, AP, AR means accounts receivable, AP accounts payable module, bank accounting, asset accounting. So in, the, in our institute, we are going to cover these five sub modules of FI, financial accounting. FI means financial accounting. There are some other modules of FI is there. In FI, suppose you are having, suppose you are having lease accounting. That is another model of FI. We are not discussing that. We are discussing only five models. Lease accounting, financial supply chain management. Likewise, we are, we are having another models of FI also. So I will discuss later what is GL accounting, what is AR model. In this video, I will discuss after some time. So first, we are going to discuss in this institute. We are going to deal with FICO model. FI means finance. CO means controlling. So in FI, we are going to discuss the sub-modules, GL accounting, AR module, AP module, bank accounting, and asset accounting. Next, we come to CO module. In CO module, there are four sub-modules mainly. One is overhead management. Second one is product costing. Third one is COPA. COPA means controlling and profitability analysis. Another one is profit center accounting. So CO mainly is having four sub-modules, overhead management, Product costing, COPA, profit center accounting. Overhead management is having three components. Overhead management is having three components. One is cost element accounting. Another one is cost center accounting. Another one is internal order accounting. Again, product cost is divided into three types. Product costing is divided into three types. Product cost planning, cost object controlling, material ledger. Material ledger. COPA, controlling profitability analysis, again divided into three types. Account-based COPA, costing-based COPA, combined-based COPA. Another one is profit center accounting. When you come to product costing, when you come to product costing, as I told, product cost is divided into three types. Product cost planning, cost object controlling, material nature. Again, cost object controlling, Cost object controlling, again divided into three types. Cost object controlling, product cost by order, product cost by period, product cost by sales order, product cost by sales order. Material ledger in product costing, cost object controlling is again divided into three types. In product costing, material ledger is again divided into two types, multiple currencies and actual costing. In product costing, cost object controlling, in product cost order, again divided into three types. Product cost by production order, product cost by co-production order, product cost by 
process header so this is the entire syllabus we are going to discuss in co this is the entire syllabus we are going to discuss in co controlling co means controlling in f5 we are going to discuss gl accounting ar module ap module bank accounting asset accounting in co module we are going to discuss all these modules and their sub modules and their sub sub components next this is the syllabus this is the overview of the syllabus overview of the syllabus in depth syllabus i will discuss after 10 or 15 minutes topic wise next so after learning this course whether it is fi or co or fi co after learning this course what are the job opportunities so when come the job opportunities you can settle your life as a sap consultant or you can settle your life as a sap end user so what is the difference between the consultant and end user this course is suitable for both as a consultant profile for consultant profile and end user profile so what is the meaning of consultant what is the meaning of end user consultants mean consultant means functional consultant functional consultants means you will do settings that means you will you will involve in the implementation project you are going to involve in the implementation project you are going to do configuration you are going to do settings so after after your settings are completed after the project is completed that means this project means sap software after the project is completed you will hand over the project to company company employees will enter the transactions into system that is called end user work get in the point so you can settle your life as a sap consultant or sap end user sap consultant means projects you are going to deal with projects that means configuration settings you will call functional consultant you are called fi co consultant so you can mainly work on projects projects means so many types of projects are there implementation projects supporting projects roll out projects slo projects there are migration projects there are different types of projects are there all these projects for all these projects you are eligible as a consultant so what type of companies normally consultants now what type of companies will be taken by the consultants normally wipro infosys tcs accenture so many companies are there these are only big companies thousands of companies are there in hyderabad who implements sap projects for all these companies who are eligible as sap consultant i taken some big companies example come to sap end user sap end user is nothing but accountant sap end user is nothing but accountant you are going to work in accounts department taxation department and finance department as accountant you, you as a as a sap end user you will not do any configuration configuration is already done completed the project is already completed now you are doing end day to day work day to day work means entering of transaction entering of gl accounts entering of purchase vouchers sales vouchers this is your regular work sap end user sir what type of companies in what type of companies i am going to get a job like hetero dr reddys arabindo company lnt banks insurance companies likewise which company is using sap software in that companies you will get a job as a sap end user so you can you can after completing the course you are suitable as a sap consultant or you are suitable as a sap end user also okay sir normally how much salary i can expect how much salary i can expect is a general idea this is not a final this is general idea how much package i can expect here your package will depend on whether you are a sap consultant or a sap end user suppose if you are a sap consultant press consultant if you are a sap press consultant around 35000 30 to 35000 you can expect from infosys or accenture whatever may give the company sap press consultant expect 35000 around starting salary per month sir i am 1 to 3 years consultant i am i am having 1 to 3 years between experience around 50 55000 you can get sir i am having 3 to 5 years consultant experience around 8 to 80000 per month you can get 8000 per month means almost 10 lakh ctc you can get sir i am a end user fresh end user i am completed my mba i learned sap and i want i i joined one company where they are using sap software 
as a fresh end user you can expect around 20 to 25000 per month as a fresh end user in accounts department or taxation department or finance department sir experience i am experience end user that means already i am working in some company on ar module or ap module asset accounting or gl accounting i am already working in some company i want to change my profile by learning suppose presently you are working on ar module so i want to switch the company i want to learn all modules so as experience end user based on your previous salary you can expect hike so these are the salary package so your salary package normally for consultants the package will be more normally for the consultants the package will be the more when compared to consultant end users will get some less some more so this is about salary package so in our institute what versions we are going to cover as you know now there are two versions leading versions sap leading versions in market one is ecc ecc means enterprise controlling this is one module this is one version sap product this is called sap product ecc product another one is newly introduced in 2020 s per hana s per hana s per means fourth generation sap fourth generation sap so in market 60% companies are using ecc product another 40% companies are using s per hana product so as a, as a learner you have to learn both you have to learn both products you have to learn both products ecc product and hana product because 60% companies are using ecc and 40% companies are using s per hana you have to learn both topic you have to learn both versions then only you are eligible for job getting the point in our institute we are going to cover both ecc and s per hana ecc product will be covered ehp7 actually you are now it is running ehp8 but we are covering ehp7 with gst version s per hana we are going to cover 2020 version 2020 version so these are the versions will be covered when come to server ecc 6.0 server i will provide you that means it will be installed on your laptop this we will take care of when you come to s4 hana server s4 hana server we cannot install on we cannot install on laptop because it will take 6 lakhs 7 lakhs for each server that means s4 hana you have to take from third party i will give the reference that third party for so how much they will charge they will charge normally for 6 months they may charge 2000 or 2500 that you have to pay to them third party vendor i will give reference if you have your own reference you can go and you can get user id and password server access or otherwise if you want i will give reference ecc 6.0 our institute will install in on your laptop this i will take care this you have to take care yourself yourself means i will give guidance you have to go to some vendor you have to pay some amount they will give for 6 months they will charge normally 2500 for 6 months some other topics what i will going to cover other topics other topics in the sense integration point of view so here we are going to cover fimm integration fisd integration that means fimm means finance and material management so we have to integrate fi and mm why you have to integrate fi and mm because whatever the purchase normally purchase invoices will be passed by the material management module that means purchase invoices will be passed in material management module if the purchase invoices passed in material management module it will be automatically updated in finance correct or not it will be automatically updated in finance for preparing financial statements that means you have to integrate fi and mm next we have to integrate fi and sd sales and distribution likewise you have to integrate co and pp pp means production plan co and mm so these are the integrations we are going to cover what are the integrations fi and mm fi and sd copp co mm next i will discuss live project i will discuss live project i will discuss one implementation project how to implement the project so after completing the course we will conduct demo interview we will conduct demo interview sir i take i am a four years experience candidate or i have a gap of five years i am putting some experience so after job we will support you after job i will give you support 
after job support i will provide you for this there will be some terms and conditions after job support i will provide you definitely for that there will be some terms and conditions so these are the other topics we are going to cover after job also we are going to support you are going to support you in implementation project but there will be some terms and conditions what are the terms and conditions we will discuss in the class we will discuss personally after job support so these are the versions we are going to cover these are the topics we are going to cover extra topics fi and co syllabus will be covered other along with fi and co we are going to cover other topics okay sir next come to faculty details so before going to faculty details the course duration the course duration is 6 to 7 months sir why you are taking 7 months the other institutes they are telling 3 months see how the three, how the syllabus will be completed in 3 months even my institute i will take gst tds income tax itself i will take 4 months classes how the sap will how the fic will be completed in 6 to 3 to 4 months impossible that means they are not doing implementation so in our institute the course duration is you have to keep in your mind 7 months if you have a patience of 7 months then you can come to the class there is no any shortcut way you have to you have to struggle you have to implement the project 6 to 7 months timings will be morning 6:30 to 8 daily one and a half hour sunday i will take 3 hours class special class evening time you can do practice sir i am a job holder yeah morning 6:30 to 8 you can attend the class morning 6:30 to 8 you can attend the class evening 7:30 to 8 7 to 9 you can do the practice practice is very important so when come to course fees course fees will be rupees 25000 with the two installments at the time of joining 13000 rupees after one month you have to pay 12000 rupees in this 25000 we will provide ecc server we will provide ecc server free of cost but when come to esparana esparana that subscription you have to take from third party they may charge 2000 or 2500 for entire six months course seven months course next this is the explained hand server ecc server we will install on your laptop if you are if you come to office if you come to office physically we will install ecc server on your laptop yes for hana server online access will be given by third party and he will charge rupees 2000 per six months approximately i already explained this this is about course duration what is the fee structure how the servers we are going to provide next come to faculty details so i am i am i am a ca santosh kumar reddy i am a fca fca means fellow chartered accountant fellow chartered accountant means who completed 6 years practice they will allow to ca fca i am a bcom graduate i am a sap fico certified consultant i am a gst auditor for so many government companies as you know, I'm in the teaching field from last 10 years in busier commerce. So this is the overview of the syllabus. This is the, what is FI, what models we are going to cover, what models we are going to cover in CO. Now come, I will explain about each topic five minutes, what we are going to cover, simple five minutes each topic. In FI, we are going to cover GL accounting, AR module, AP module, bank accounting and asset accounting. First of all, what is the FI model? What is the FI model? Why this model will be implemented by the companies? So if you come to, if you, if you want to discuss about FI model, I will take another material. This is our institute material. This is you are going to get. So what we are going to do, what is the FI model? First of all, this is the material you are going to get. What is the purpose of FI model? So FI means finance model. The, the, this model is mainly used to pass accounting and financial transactions in SAP. So what is the main intention that companies will implement FI model to account their transactions, to accounting their financial transactions. And the main object of this model is preparing financial statements. What is the main object of this model is preparing financial statement to submit to the external authorities. External authorities means GST department, income tax department, ROC, SEBI. For all these, for all these departments, every year you have to submit 
balance sheet and profit and loss account. Who will give this balance sheet and profit and loss account? SAP software will give. In SAP software, which module will give you? Finance module. That is your target. So why the companies will implement a finance module in the SAP? To get financial statements, to record accounting transactions, to record financial transactions. For this purpose, the companies will introduce FI module. See the logic. See the logic. In order to implement SAP for your company, you need not to implement, you need not to implement all products. You need not to implement all modules. First, you can start with FI module, MM module, SD module, and you can start using SAP. Because if you implement all modules, the cost will be more. Small companies cannot afford. You can implement the modules. This year, you can implement FI, MM, and SD. Next year, you can add PP model. Next year, you can add plant maintenance model. So based on years, you can go on increasing based on your budget. That is my idea. So SAP means you need not to implement all modules at a time. Because if you implement all modules at a time, your cost is going to be increased. SAP cost. But our main benefit is, our main benefit is, in every company we will have FI model. Without FI model, nobody implement SAP. That is the demand for FI consultant. That is the demand you are having for FI consultant. Without FI model, nobody implement SAP. Suppose, without project system, you can implement SAP. But every company will start with FI. That means, in every company, we will have a FI model. That means FI consultant is required. That means FI end user is required. That is the that is the prevalence we are having in SAP as a finance graduate. So, what is the ultimate target of FI model? The ultimate target of FI model is to take the printout of balance sheet and profit and loss account and accounting of day to day transaction and financial transactions. This is the purpose of FI model. FI model is having so many sub models. As I told you. It is having general ledger accounting, GL accounting. It is having accounts payable submodule. It is having accounts receivable submodule. It is having bank accounting. It is having asset accounting. I will be short, short uh, small discussion about five minutes discussion about each submodule. What is general ledger accounting? What is GL accounting? General ledger is nothing but like salaries account, rent account. These are called GL accounts in SAP. General ledger is a main ledger in SAP. General ledger is a main ledger in SAP. So in general ledger model, we will enter day-to-day -day transactions pertaining to GL accounts. For example, salaries account at auto salaries payable account. This entry will pass in GL accounting. This is called GL. GL. Salaries account is a GL account. GL account means like rent account, salaries account, etc. The main benefit of general account, GL accounting is from all sub models, from all models, for example, from MM module, from MM module, the information will be updated in GL accounting. From SD module, the information will be sales information will be updated in GL accounting. That means in general ledger module, we will pass some transactions and some transactions will be automatically updated from some other models. Getting the point? So general ledger not only record accounting transaction and you will also collect data from other modules like MMSD etc for preparing financial statements. Correct or not? For example, you are passing one sales entry in SD module. You are passing one sales entry in SD module. That sales entry should come to profit and loss account. How that entry would come to profit and loss account? From GL account, it would come to your profit and loss account. Is that the point? That means from SD, between SD and the financial statements, first the transaction should be updated in GL accounting. From GL accounting, it will go to financial statements. That means simple understanding. In GL, we will pass some transactions like rent, salaries, etc. Some the GL account will also be updated from some other models like MMSD, etc. That is integration. How it will be updated through integration. So general ledger also collects the data from it's a subsidiary ledgers. What are the subsidiary ledgers? AR, AP, asset accounting, and bank accounting. Suppose you purchased one asset. That entry will pass in 
actual MM model that will be updated in asset model. From asset model, it will be updated in GL model. From GL model, it will go to financial statements. Likewise, in GL, we can enter some own transactions and some transactions will be updated from other modules and from FI model itself, some other sub -mologes. So what is the main purpose of GL accounting GL module? It will maintain the books keeping. It will maintain bookkeeping by recording financial transactions. From GL model, we can extract trial balance and further key reports like profit and loss account and balance sheet. We can take printout of general ledger balances. General ledger balances is nothing but which ledger is having which balance. Suppose salaries, how much balance is there? Ledger balance. GL line item, line items in the SAP is nothing but entries. For example, salaries account data to salaries payable account. This entry is called line item in the SAP. Salaries account is one line item, salary payable account is another line item. These line items will be stored in ledgers. This ledger balances you can check and you can take printout also. It supports, it supports, which supports GL accounting supports to you maintain parallel books to address the different accounting principles requirements. What is parallel books in SAP? Parallel books means, suppose, simple example I will tell you. You are a US company. Your parent company is located in USA. And you are having another subsidiary company in India. Your parent company is located in USA. That means your head office is in USA. But you are having a subsidiary in India also. Now, this Indian company, this Indian company has to prepare two set of books of accounts. Correct or not? One is as per Indian accounting standards. And one other, another one is, is as per US GAAP. Because you have to prepare two financial statements. One is as per Indian accounting standards. And another one is as per US GAAP to submit your head office. That concept is called parallel books in SAP. You need not to maintain two set of books, two set of books separately. If you enter normally as per Indian accounting, then the system will automatically prepare US GAAP financial statements also. As per US GAAP also, they will prepare separate financial statements. You need not to maintain separately, the system will take care. There is a concept of parallel books. So it also support to maintain books in parallel currencies up to three currency types in an ECC module and up to 10 currency types in Esperana module. For example, you can take financial statements in Indian rupees, US dollars and euros also. Sometimes you have to maintain multiple currencies. This is called multiple currency concept. Multiple currencies means local currency you can maintain, group currency you can maintain, hard currency also you can maintain. Likewise, that means single single financial statements you can take print out in different different currencies. For example, just now I told you your parent company is in USA. That company is having a subsidiary company in India. This Indian company has to prepare two set of books of accounts. One is a, one is as per Indian accounting standard in Indian rupees you have to prepare, and one other one is is in US as per US gap you have to prepare in dollars. That means the same company has to prepare its books of accounts as per two currencies. One is as per rupees, one is as per dollars. That is called multiple currencies, parallel currencies. Next, it supports foreign currency revaluation to provide provision for foreign currency gain or loss. Sometimes there is a foreign currency reserve account. I will tell you that, that later it is a deep subject, foreign currency revaluation reserve. It, support, it supports accruals and deferral concept on month ending and year ending. There is nothing but provisions. Accrual concept, nothing but progeny concept. So this is the small discussion. This is the small discussion about GL accounting. GL accounting is nothing but general ledger accounting. General ledger is nothing but like your ledgers, salaries, rent, etc. Next, come to AR model. First AP model, accounts payable. What is the what is the importance of accounts payable model? In the accounts payable model. We are going to, first of all, it is account payable module is a subsidiary ledger to the main ledger GL. GL is called main ledger. Accounts payable is a subsidiary ledger to the main ledger GL. That means whatever entries you pass in accounts payable ledger will be automatically updated in GL master, GL, GL model. What you are going to do in accounts payable module? 
an account payable module we will maintain account for each supplier's account vendor master data here we are going to create vendor master data what works we are going to do in accounts payable model in accounts payable model we will collect the majority data from material management that means in material management if you pass purchase invoices that will be automatically updated in accounts payable module from accounts payable module it will be updated to gl accounts like purchase purchase returns debit notes and credit notes accounts payable module integrates with material management module and gl account module for example credit cards account advance payment these are integration points reconciliation accounts account payable modules supports to process advance payments deposits and payment process that means simply accounts payable module we will use for our vendors purpose to maintain our vendors data vendors means suppliers we will maintain accounts payable module in this module we are going to give the payments the accounts payable module supports to maintain credit period terms per payment and further determines the due date per payment everything you know already Suppose accounts payable model also supports bank guarantees for issuing the parties, LCs, letter of credit. All this you have to configure as a consultant. How to write bank guarantee? You have to configure. Next, accounts payable model supports to process manual payments. This is the most important point. In accounts payable, you have to give payment to thousand parties. You have to give the payment to thousand two thousand parties. How will you give the payment? How will you make the payment? Whether you will give single check to the each party, not required. You can run automatic payment process. Automatic payment process means that SAP itself, the AP, accounts payable model itself will prepare checks for all parties. Or you can do online transfers as per their due dates. That is called automatic payment process. So bills payable models also supports, bills payable model also supports correspondences. To communicate debit notes and credit notes to the vendors, it will also supports correspondences. Correspondence is nothing but due date payments, debit notes, credit notes to the vendors. So this is called accounts payable module. Next, accounts receivable module. AR. This is called AR. Accounts receivable module. Accounts receivable module is a simple nothing but I am telling in simple words. It is the module used for. Maintain customers' account. That means your debtors' accounts. What you can do here, you can do enter sales invoices, or if you enter in sales model, it will be automatically updated here. Accounts receivable model supports advance receipts, deposits, etc. Simply for at present, you can remember accounts receivable model is used to process is used to maintain debtors' customer data, your clients' customer data. You can get bank, you can get bank reports. Bank guarantee or ultra credit from their parties also. It will support ESO analysis also. And main important in account receivable module, you are having a dunning concept. Dunning means you can send the reminders to the parties. The system will send the reminders to the parties automatically as per due dates. That is called dunning concept. So provisions are bad dates you can provide. So this is the account receivable module. Simple. I am explaining five minutes each topic. Asset accounting. Why this model is important? In asset accounting model, we are going to maintain ledger for each asset. We are going to maintain master record. That is called master record for each asset, like purchase of asset, sale of asset, depreciation on asset, down payment, revaluation of asset, etc. For all assets. So revaluation, depreciation, uh, resale of assets. Asset accounting model will also support capital work in progress, asset under constructions. This is called capital working progress. Asset account will support both asset revaluation and asset impairment. What is impairment? What is revaluation? How to revalue the assets? How to calculate the depreciation? The system will take care, but you have to do configuration as a consultant. So we can calculate depreciation according to different principles like income tax act, company tax. Asset accounting integrates with all modules: SD, MM, APR, because everybody will purchase the assets. Asset accounting provide asset registers. Asset accounting support multiple currencies. It calculate depreciation for each individual asset wise and also for each accounting principal wise. So simple logic in asset accounting, we are going to do. So we are going to maintain each master record for each asset. We are going to provide depreciations. We are going to revaluate the assets. We are going to provide the impairment. 
everything we are going to do in a set accounting model in bank accounting this model record the bank transactions for each bank individual bank account wise house banks and computer here we will call a house banks house banks bank id so many concepts are there it support different payment process like manual payment automatic payment process check payment digital payment so this is the bank accounting model importance in bank accounting supports brs both manual brs and electronic brs electronic bank statement that means if you download the bank statement into the sap it will automatically download from your login user and password it will do the bank reconciliation statement so bank accounting ledger is the sub ledger for the main ledger gl account so this is the modules we are going to cover in fi simple explanation next we are going to discuss about controlling what is the main why the why the companies will implement controlling module in their company in sap why the fi model is introduced fi model is introduced to get financial statements to record financial transactions to record accounting transactions why controlling model is implemented the controlling model is implemented to know the costing to know the costing to control the cost to control the cost to to get a return on capital how much return we are getting on capital investment so the main purpose of controlling model is to know the costing how much cost we are going to incur for manufacturing a particular product what is the profitability analysis because of the product at each stage how much we are going to incur on the product how to control the cost how to control the overheads this is the main intention of the controlling model so if you control the cost automatically your profits will be increased there is a main object of the controlling model so in controlling model we are going to discuss first overhead management what is overhead overhead is nothing but except raw material cost except raw material overhead means the expenditure incurred in all departments except raw material cost except raw material cost remaining cost is called overhead cost this overhead cost you have to apportion to the different different departments like labor cost we have to apportion to production plant one production plant two like that this overhead management concept is very useful in overheads we are having two types direct overhead and indirect overhead in overhead costing main we are going to use three concepts cost element accounting cost element accounting cost element is nothing but cost element is nothing but your gl account your gl account that means whatever information you are passing in accounting module financial accounting module will be transferred to cost accounting module through cost elements cost elements are nothing but your gl accounts like salaries rent etc suppose you pass your salary entry in fi that will be automatically carry forward to costing also for costing purpose through cost element accounting cost elements are two types primary cost elements and secondary cost elements what is the primary cost elements primary cost element is nothing but your gl accounts but secondary cost elements we will create only in costing costing co co module secondary cost elements we will create only in controlling module for apportionment secondary cost element will not present in the primary gl account it, it, it will not present in financial accounting it, it will create only in controlling module secondary cost elements will be created for transferring the cost from one cost object to another cost object for example transferring the cost from cost center to sales order what is cost object what is costing cost center sales order so we'll discuss in classes just i'm giving brief idea next overhead management is cost center accounting cost center account means cost center is cost center is nothing but your departments cost center is nothing but your departments for example administration department is one cost center sales department is one cost center production department is one cost center the main object of the cost center accounting is to collect the expenditure incurred by department wise how much incur, how much cost is go, go incurring on finance department how much cost we are incurring on administration department like their salaries printing and stationery rent whatever may be etc department wise from this department cost from this we will apportion the cost to different departments so cost center accounting is nothing but collecting the cost department wise each department can be called as one cost center next that is the concept of cost center what is internal order internal order is also collecting of expenditure 
but the main object of internal order is accounting is to collect monitor and control the expenditure for a specific event or per project see car centers are permanent in nature but internal order is temporary in nature for example you, you are constructing you are you are conducting agm annual general meeting i want to know management wants to know how much cost is incurring on agm conducting the agm that means annual general meeting you can create as a internal order that means here we are going to know the expenditure for specific for specific purpose this is temporary in nature for example you are conducting for example you are you are conducting one stall you are conducting one stall in some market what is the cost we are incurring for for conducting the stall in market specific purposes that is called internal order so that is called overhead management or we can we can manage the overhead through cost element accounting we can manage the overhead through product costing uh, internal that is cost centers we can manage the product we can manage the overhead through internal order next product costing the main intention of the product cost is to know the how much what is the cost we are going to incur for manufacturing particular product product costing is main intention of the product costing sub module is to know what is the cost we are incurring for manufacturing this product that is called product cost product costing is again divided into product cost planning cost object controlling material ledger product cost planning product cost planning is nothing but you want to know what is the major portion it is influencing your production cost product cost planning what is the major source of expenditure which is influencing your product cost for example i want to manufacture one finished goods x i want to manufacture finished goods x for manufacturing this finished goods x you want some semi finished goods you want raw material x you want raw material y you want overheads this is your product cost if you observe out of this total 1500 600 is only one material is influencing whether we have to purchase this material from outside party whether we have to manufacture in house product this decision you can take so simply product cost planning is going to help you to analyze the cost what is the cost influencing my product what is the major cost in my product production that you can know by product cost planning next cost object controlling cost object controlling is again divided into three types product cost by order product cost by period product cost by sales order product cost by order product cost by order is again divided into three types product cost by production order product cost by co production order product cost by process order product cost by order product cost by order is nothing but this this concept is used product cost to production order this concept is used product cost by production order this concept is used for knowing the product cost in lots in lots lots means for example if i manufacture 100 quantities what is the cost if i manufacture 500 quantities what is the cost whether the cost is reducing or not for estimating this you can use product cost by production order simple understand product cost by co production order co production order means this concept is used if joint products are producing if joint products giant products means if you are manufacturing one product some giant products some by products will come then you can use this concept product cost by process order this process order concept you can use for suitable for those industries where more process will be there and we need to control more for example pharma industry pharma industry will take more process time then you can use process order concept so this is the cost object controlling first point product cost by order product cost by period product cost by period concept is used if you want to know the product cost monthly period wise then you can use product cost by period next product cost by sales order product cost by sales order is again divided into three types make to mto means make to order ato means assessment to accessible to order eto means estimation to order so make to order this component is used to produce the product according to the customer design customer modification this concept is used for knowing the how much we are going to incur the 
product cost according to customer design and modifications. That means we will start to product the manufacturing after receiving the order from customer. So if you receive the order from customer, then you will start manufacturing. Make to order, assemble to order. So assemble to order concept is used if you are already having a semi-finished product in your hand. Once we receive the order from the customer, we will assemble and deliver the product. That means if you are already having a semi-product, once the customer order is received, then you will assemble and you will give to the customer. This is, for example, computers. Next, ETO. ETO means engineering, engineering to order. This company is more usable for project systems. Project systems means like metro rail construction projects, projects, follower and construction projects. For these projects, you can use engineering to order concept. See, based on your company, you have to use these concepts. Based on the requirement, you have to use these concepts. Next concept is material ledger. Material ledger. Material ledger is one of the component of product costing. Material ledger. We are having multiple currencies, multiple valuations, parallel valuations, actual costing. But in your syllabus, I will cover only multiple currencies and actual costing. Multiple valuations, parallel valuations is not in your syllabus, not in syllabus. What is multiple currencies? This concept is used if you want to value the inventory as per different different currencies. If you want to value the inventory, inventory valuation you have done monthly or quarterly or yearly. For valuating the inventory according to multiple currencies, like as per US country, how to value the inventory, then you can use multiple currencies concept. Actual costing. Actual costing features is used to determine the cost of the product for a specific period by considering all types of price differences, variance differences. For example, in market, the prices will go on changing. You purchased the product one year back, that is still in inventory. But today prices are changed. For considering that variance differences, exchange rate differences, we will use the concept of actual costing. This is only for valuation purpose, material ledger concept. This material ledger concept mainly used for valuation of flowing stock purposes, according to different currencies, according to different prices, valuations, different prices. Next main important COPA module. COPA means controlling and profitability analysis. COPA module is nothing but you can understand simply marginal costing. COPA will give the functionality of marginal costing. What is the marginal costing? You want to know the product profitability. You want to know the product profitability. So if you want to know the product profitability, you have to implement marginal costing. Marginal costing will get, you will get marginal costing analysis only if you implement COPA module in your asset. COPA module is the path of controlling module. What is marginal costing analysis? Suppose I want to know the sales. I want to know the sales country wise in that country. I want to know the sales area wise in that area. I want to know the sales product wise, the dimensions, multiple dimensions. That is called marginal costing analysis. So in COPA, you are having different models, account based COPA, costing based COPA and combined based COPA. This is the most important model. Next one is profit center accounting. This is the most, most important model sub model fast profit profit center accounting is nothing but this concept is introduced this component is used to get the financial statements at a statistic business level statistic business level is nothing but branch wise branch wise financial statements branch wise financial statements if you want branch wise financial statements or if you want product wise financial statements they can use the concept of profit center accounting next after completing all that, I will give project overview. How to, this is called implementation project, how to implement the project. So this is the entire service of the Institute of SAP FICO. Here I will cover both versions. Both versions in nothing but ECC version and SAP version. I will cover both model. I will cover both products, ECC product and Esperana product. So thanking you, this is the syllabus. Thanking you.